there are more animals on the African savanna than just lions and elephants. Meet the Serval, an extraordinary wild cat with mind-blowing abilities. We're going to explore its world of daring leaps, strong ears, and unexpected tenderness. This is the tale of the Serval Cat. They have the longest legs compared to their body size of any cat. Servals are often known as giraffe cats. Their ability to prowl through dense vegetation and leap up to 6 feet 1.8 meters in the air allows them to catch innocent birds like feathered frisbees. Their brown coat has two functions. It is speckled with a motley pattern of black dots and stripes. They are able to pursue prey covertly because of their superior concealment in the grasslands. On the other hand, the striking patterns may disorient predatory animals and make it challenging to follow their actions. During the rainy months, several servals have been seen growing darker coats, which may provide them with more cover among the soggy foliage. The black patches under a serval's eyes are frequently referred to as tear marks. These inscriptions could aid in lessening glare and enhancing their eyesight. Servals are the cats with the biggest ears in proportion to their heads. With unparalleled precision, these enormous, rotating radars can identify prey by picking up even the smallest sounds, such as a rodent's screech or the rustle of leaves. A penchant for water distinguishes servals from most other cats. Because they can swim well, they easily go to streams and rivers for prey or simply to cool down on summer days. Cats are known for their purrs, but servals have a different repertory. In order to communicate with one another and protect their area, they make chirping, hissing, yowling, and even growling noises. Observe the high jump, propelled by their elongated legs. They may propel themselves many feet into the atmosphere, capturing gullible birds midair. They even use a special batting method to swat at grasshoppers and other insects that fly at a low altitude. Servals are not purely nocturnal animals like other cats are. Their activity peaks in the late afternoon, when their big eyes are most effective. In addition, they leave visual cues in addition to smell marks on their mite colonies by rubbing their faces and necks against them. Because of their extraordinary sense of listening, Servals are able to glide stealthily through the dense grass, using their abilities to sense sound to find prey and then strike with lightning speed. Desert environments are favorable for certain populations of servals. Their slim physique and long legs allow them to move across the hot sand with little energy expenditure, and their effective kidneys help them retain water for cover and shade during the warmest times of the day they even use the burrows made by other animals. Similar to other cats, servals have tactile antennas in the form of delicate whiskers. Vital knowledge regarding their environment and the locations of concealed prey is obtained by these vibrous eyes' ability to sense airflow, vibrations, and even the smallest changes in texture. The endless activity and lively disposition of serval kittens are well known. In the savanna, they frequently play cute games of chase and pounce with mongoose puppies, forging improbable friendships between different species. Servals are regarded as protectors of the wild in several African civilizations. For generations, folk tales and creative depictions of them have been influenced by their gracefulness and agility which has cemented their status in regional customs. Breeders have developed the savanna cat, a cross between a serval and a domestic cat, as a result of the serval's distinct look and behavior. These hybrids bring a little of the serval's untamed character into homes, albeit being contentious owing to ethical issues. Despite being listed as least concerned by the IUCN, Serval numbers are threatened by the destruction of habitat brought on by human development and the expansion of agriculture. Furthermore, in certain places, poaching them for their fur and skin is still a problem. Our ability to comprehend and value these amazing animals will enable us to support the protection of their populations and assure their status as the top hunters on the African savanna.